All right, hey guys. Um, wanted to make a video. Uh, I've been looking at some stuff I don't really normally look at, and it's just been really interesting to me. Uh, I wanted to share what I've been finding out. Uh, I've been looking at the flat Earth theory, and you know, don't laugh because, well, maybe you're laughing right now, but you know, I did too at first. Um, but you know, there's some stuff there that you know I can't explain, and there's some good maths like straight up undeniable maths maths that i know math maths that i love that when i look at it i go that that all checks out um i can't i can't argue with the maths and it's then like my mind was open i was just like how did i not see this um so i want to show you some stuff here's a picture that really is basically what threw me these are corpuscular rays. Uh, now we're taught in school that these corpuscular rays come in parallel. Well, the, sorry, the sun's rays come in parallel. Well, if you look at these corpuscular rays, you can see that's, that's so not true. They are definitely not parallel. So, um, and not only that, when you look at it, you think actually, these are basic triangles. You can do some maths on this, which is what I'm going to do in a second. And and um, and look, I mean, when I saw all this, you could just see that the, the sun is right there. Like they put a little icon of the sun where it is. Uh, it's clear where it is. And it's, you know, it's not like millions of whatever away. It's just maybe thousands or whatever. I, I can't remember. They say it's about, I think, 3,000 kilometers, something. I don't matter. Look, I, you can calculate this pretty simply. All you need to do is have some sort of estimate on that bottom length. Um, which we could have a stab at pretty easily. And then um, you can calculate the height of this these triangles. And so I thought, well, that's that's really amazing. It really blew my mind that the numbers aren't what I was what I was taught. That these are that these distances are much smaller than actually they are. So I thought I'd do the same thing myself. I want to do I want to do that same maths. Uh, with a different example and see see what else we can find out about our world and this is really what I wanted to share with you guys because this is what I found out is just unbelievably amazing I found this image online it's obviously uh, train tracks going towards the horizon with the sun there on the horizon and uh, you know I just thought that was a neat addition just to have the sun on the horizon there because this is the thing we're taught we're taught that the sun is going behind the horizon but uh you know the flat earth people have been teaching me that you know it's not it's not like it's going behind the horizon actually it's just all perspective you know as as things go further away it's, it's just perspective and like the train tracks you're seeing here they converge to a vanishing point so you know it's not that the the, the um sun goes behind it just vanishes uh, smaller and smaller. Anyway, that's, so it's all perspective. So I thought, well, if that's what happens at the horizon, I should be able to use some really, I should be able to use the same maths, calculate the distance to the horizon. So that's what we're going to do today. And I've got to be honest, uh, just like the, uh, the the corpuscular rays, this just blew my mind. I couldn't believe um, the distances because I thought, you know, what's the distance to the horizon? I thought it was going to be like kilometers, something like that. Much shorter distances than you think, but well, we leave that to, f to the end. Let's start with some known distances. Right, well, this is some train tracks. I don't know where these train tracks are, but in my country uh, where I live, typical train tracks would be, and I think it's a good guess anyway, uh, sorry, I'll zoom that down, 160 centimeters uh, is a typical train track width. So um, that's great. What I want to do next is calculate some of these angles and we'll get to figuring out how far this is later on. But we need to know some angles. So what I do, just throw in a layer, just show you how I calculate that. Uh, I'm just gonna pop in a, uh, a line straight up at a 90 degree angle, right? Transform that uh, and rotate with the anchor down there. I can find out that if I tilt this down, that little black box up there shows me the angle here to there where that track goes is 40, uh, 40, 41, yeah, about 41 degrees is what I'm using. I'm using number 41. So that distance there is 41 degrees to there. What I want is this distance, uh, sorry, angle here. I want this angle here. So that's 90, that's 41. So this angle here is 90 
take 41 you got it it is 49 degrees and so there you go you got this angle right here uh no surprise the other angle i checked it it's the same it's also 49 degrees so just removing the picture here for a second uh just to show you the triangle that we're ended up with uh you can actually see here we have a isosceles triangle two angles at the bottom there are the same uh so we should be able to calculate some known distances uh, using some basic trigonometry and stuff. So uh, what we want to find out, I want to find out this distance here from the bottom here to the horizon. What is that distance? How far is the horizon away? So we can calculate that pretty straightforward, actually. What we do is just a typical, you do this in, you do this in middle school, really. I mean, it's simple. Cut it in half, straight down the middle, uh, 90 degree at the bottom, right? Because uh, it's a it's a tie sosily, so we cut it in half. We get 90 degrees at the bottom, and we also split that uh, length of the bottom directly in half. So we get 80 centimeters at that uh, for that right angle triangle base. Okay, uh, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, from here, what I want to calculate is x, the distance to the horizon, this length here. So um, let's do it. What we've got here, this distance is our unknown. That is opposite to our angle. And we have a known angle, uh, sorry, not angle, uh, known length of 80 centimeters adjacent. So we've got opposite and adjacent. Uh, the, the trig is tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Uh, if you, and if you work that around, opposite ends up equaling the adjacent multiplied by tan theta. Uh, and you can check that yourself. Undisputable trigonometry maths. This is just undisputable math. And this is what blew my mind because I, you know, maths is my thing and maths doesn't lie, right? Maths doesn't lie. So um, what do we get here? We get X um, and we throw in these numbers. So we've got 80 times 10 of 49 degrees. 10 to 49 degrees, 1.15036, etc., etc. Et That's probably enough decimal places. Anyway, 80 times 1. Point whatever. Drum roll, 92 centimeters. Now, if that just blew your mind like it did mine when I found that out, uh, you know, welcome because I my mind is blown. X, this distance here to the horizon is 92 centimeters away. It's less than a meter away. Now just in case you don't think it's 92 meters, no, 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 it's 92 centimeters. Our measurement here is in centimeters, therefore this is in centimeters. You've got to keep your units the same. It's not 92 meters, it's 92 centimeters away. So, I mean, these distances, we've, we've been taught all our lives that these distances are, are like miles away, they're like heaps of kilometers away. No. Don't believe these globalists. Uh, the maths does not lie. The horizon is 92 centimeters away. I just, my mind is blown. These distances are far smaller. Uh, the, the height to, the, you know, the distance to the sun, we can calculate it's far smaller. The distance to the horizon, far smaller than we've been told. Not these thousands, millions of kilometers or whatever. You know, it's not thousands of kilometers here to the horizon. It's only 92 centimeters away. So there you go. Um, some basic maths for you. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you, um, everyone got something out of that. People who, you know, maybe haven't thought about this sort of stuff before the flat earth theory. Maybe you've got something out of this. Uh, maybe the flat earth is something a bit new for you guys. I haven't seen anyone talking about this at all. So uh, I thought, you know, that, that will, I'm sure lots of flat earthers will like this as well. Uh, I hope that explains, you know, a lot about our world, this flat earth that we live on. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I might do more of these in the future. I don't know. It's really, really a cool, uh, I'm really liking it. I want, I want to learn more and I want to, I want to do more.